All right, guys, so we've got all of our big blocks of color pretty much done here, I think, uh, unless I see some that I missed. And, mm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I think I think we're pretty good. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm starting to second guess myself, which is never a good thing. Um, but we're going to start adding just little bits of color here and there now. Just, you know, just getting some of these details kind of filled in. Uh, and then we'll, of course, do the, the big black wash. And then the, uh, the, the, the silver aging, uh, as it were. So... <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and kind of clear our space a little bit here, just a smidge, so we can plop this guy down. We got this thing too, which I did just uh, spray silver, and I just dry brushed a little uh, bronze on there as well. Uh, we're going to add a little bit more color to this probably, uh, but for now I just want to kind of leave it off to the side and not, uh, not really mess with it for right this second. So. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some color here. So I think we're going to go ahead and do, let's see here, we're going to do some Emperor's Gold, which is right here, Blue Metallic Emperor's Gold, and probably just a little smidge of that, okay. Um, and let's see, probably some of this metallic solid bronze, which matches very closely to this color right here, uh, but we'll be using it in other, other areas. I'll use a little, a little bit more of that because we'll probably be uh, dry brushing it on. Uh, I don't know. We'll kind of we'll kind of play along as it goes and just see see what we feel like doing. This is a weird paint I just found. It's a glorious gold. Uh, it looks pretty old and like the color is separated, but I'm not sure what exactly we're gonna come up with if I uh, pop some out here, if anything. Oh, nope. It's uh it's just kind of diarrhea on the plate. <laughs> So we're not going to use that. That's pretty gross looking actually. All right. So um, for all these little, uh, basically, let's give you a better idea here. For all these little like uh, what look like kind of screw type deals, uh, we're just going to add uh, a little bit of the just straight up gold to that. So let me grab a smaller brush, more fine tip here. See what we got. So I got a bunch of little brushes here, um, and I'll probably end up just using this one. I know the the brush itself is kind of long, but it's very narrow, so it should be fine. And we're just gonna go ahead, dip it in there. Let me actually make sure my phone is on uh, silent before I start doing any of this nonsense. Okay. There we go. I'll put it on. I'll put it on vibrate, <laughs> just in case anybody's trying to get a hold of me. All right. So, um, this is the easy bit. I just want to come in and just lightly go over those details. Just using the very, very tip of the brush. You don't want to really. You don't want to get too crazy with it. You can see, right there. You've got a little. Uh, We'll screw that in there. I'm just kind of go around and do that for all the little, all the same shapes, basically. And you can kind of see what's going on here. And there's some more up here. Go ahead and get this one. There's a big one towards the back of the uh, back of the blaster. I'll get that guy too. We 
go. Hopefully that will uh, stand out even against the uh, the color. It's kind of similar, uh, but it's like a bright gold against the bronze. So hopefully that will kind of stick out. There you go. I'm glad I put my phone on silent. <laughs> All right, we gotta get this big guy right here. It shouldn't be difficult because it's a raised detail. Um, it should be fairly easy just to kind of kind of guide the the tip of the brush over the the uh, raised bit without getting too much anywhere else. Just like that. Okay. Okay. All right. We're gonna flip this guy over and do the same on the other side here. Just be careful because now there is wet paint on the other side, so you obviously want to like keep that in mind. I missed one on the other side as well, so I'm gonna have to go back and do that. But... Here we go. Now there's some on the uh, on the red as well. I just want to be extra careful with this because I don't want to get any onto the red center. There we go. That should work. I don't know if you guys can even make that out, but there we go. And we'll just flip it over and do the same on the other side. we go so that is done so let's go ahead and clean our brush and prepare for the next step here I should probably change out the water it's a little it's a little grungy but it's all right we'll deal for now So, <sighs> sorry, getting a little, little distracted. Okay, so let's pick out a brush for some dry brushing here. I think it might be this guy right here. You remember this guy? I think that might be, oh, maybe I found a smaller one. Oh, yep. Whoop. Here's our dry brush right here. It's the same stiffness as the other one, but it's a lot smaller, so it should should work just fine. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's move this out of the way, see if we can actually see what I'm doing here. Uh, we're gonna do this the usual dry brushing that you guys should be relatively familiar with by now. Just get most of the paint off of the brush, and then you're gonna come out and. Uh, just kind of gently sweep it across 
the surface of whatever you're trying to get the uh, color onto. Actually, this might not even be the right brush for this, so I'm going to switch brushes. Because this one's a little bit... I cut this one down to do the silver, uh, silver dry brushing with, like the, the stressing. And while it's really good for that, it's not so great for just trying to get like a, a light coating of something. So we're going to go ahead and switch to the slightly larger uh, brush. And we're going to start dry brushing with that guy. So yeah, since the bristles are longer, it's, it, it tends to be a lot softer. Um, so you get a, a little bit better, uh, a little bit better result from that. And you can see we're getting kind of uh, just a little bit of bronze on that without uh, like crazy big blocks of color. And we'll go ahead and we'll do this the same for this little ring that's going down the center here. And uh, that should be fine for that. Let's go ahead and do a little bit over here as well like... This guy right here. So just like that, just kind of give it a little bit of, you know, a little bit of extra color. Um, and that's pretty much all we're going to do with that. So let's go ahead and flip it on the other side and get the, uh, the same same sort of thing going on here some people talking outside hopefully you guys cannot hear that if so I apologize it's one of the uh, you know one of the downfalls of living in an apartment when you uh, make videos for YouTube is that sometimes Sometimes your neighbors get to be uh, featured, whether you'd like it or not, you know? So that's, uh, that's fine, and then we'll just go ahead and do the same thing over here, just resting it on my <laughs> shoulder. And again, this isn't to, like, color this area, it's basically just to add, add a little bit of difference. You know, if, if that makes sense, um, just add a little something extra. So you can kind of, you know, just kind of see what's going on there. So it just looks a slightly discolored like that. Um, so while I've got this bronze out here, I decided I am going to go ahead and grab a brush <laughs> of some kind. And we'll just do this one. Grab this brush, and I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, paint this part right here. Because it just looks like it should be part of this other bronze bit. And it looks kind of funny uh, in black when the bronze, you know, comes right up to the edge of it. So. We'll just let that be bronze there, and uh, should be fine, no problems with that. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of dry brushing with the gold in the same kind of uh, in the same area. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean both of my brushes, switch back to the smaller brush. Here's what I think I want to do. 
So this little emperor's gold that we have here, I want to go ahead and grab my smallish brush again. Actually, maybe a different smallish brush this time. Maybe this little guy here. Although I don't know, because he's kind of, it's kind of a wide tip, so maybe we'll just go with this guy. Uh, and we'll take this gold. And I'm actually going to do this little piece out here. Just paint that guy straight up gold. Just little pops of color here and there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and very lightly go over this round bit. Obviously with your, you know, with your blasters that you guys are going to do, you know, there may not be this one and, you know, any Nerf blasters, just do whatever, do whatever you want. Just make it, you know, just make it fun for you. That's the important thing. And um, then maybe I'll add another little bit of gold right here. So you can kind of see what, I, what I'm talking about there. So now there's a couple of different colors here. It kind of makes it look a little bit more techy, and hopefully, you know, once we do the black wash, it'll add even more to that. So that that should be should be kind of good. And we'll uh, go ahead go ahead over here onto the other side and do the same uh, same deal. I'll just paint this all in. And again, I don't want just like big, huge gobs of gold and, you know, I don't want it to look super extravagant. I just want it to have different, different metal colors kind of throughout just so it uh, looks a bit more interesting. That, that's pretty much it. And again, I'm not, I'm not going so hard with the gold that it like coats everything amazingly. Uh, you can still see the black through it, so uh, we're going to let this dry, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. Sorry about that. My uh, my wife called from work, and she never does that, so I had to pick it up and just make sure everything was okay. Uh, everything was fine. Uh, just having a crazy day there. So we're going to let the main gun dry now, <clears throat> and while we do that, we're going to actually start on the black wash process. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take our flat black, make sure it's flat, you don't want gloss black for this kind of thing. Unless you do, in which case, you know, hey, it's your jam, whatever makes you happy. Uh, so we're going to add a good amount of black there on the, on the plate. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of raw umber, just to add a little bit of kind of, kind of brown, like a rust kind of color and well maybe not <laughs> I think my raw umber may no longer be raw it may be solid goo because it's having the same uh, same poopy time yeah that's that's not so great um, but we're gonna see what what we can do with this we're gonna take um, a brush and just kind of Mmm, mmm. Yeah, this might work ish, maybe. I don't know. It's a little chunky. Oh, man. Mmm, 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 mmm. Nah, it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, right, well, you know what? Never let it be said that I uh, shied away from this challenge. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to try and do something with this. Now let's see if I can... Alright, I think I'm going to use this brush. It's a little bit on the fuzzy side, which is fine. So we're going to go ahead... Get a little, I know it's, it's like liquidy enough, but uh, let's go ahead and add just a little bit more liquid to this. 
just so it flows a little bit. Make sure you get your uh, paper towels ready because this is going to be the paper towel heaviest bit of the uh, this this time here. So we're going to go ahead and get it nice and watery. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go around and kind of follow all the edges here. That's kind of the uh, kind of the plan. And then that's kind of the deal. Now we're going to take our uh, paper towel and just get as much of that off as we can, but leaving a little bit in the, uh, the, the cracks and crevices, as it were, so you can kind of see what's going on there. It's, it's not as bright, shiny red as it used to be. And that's okay because it's seen it's seen some stuff like it's been through some some dirt uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this on the other side as well make sure you get enough water going on in there and then just follow the yeah, outside edges here just make sure you get it in all the little cracks and crevices because that's where you really want that that color to stick. You got to kind of work a little bit quick with this because you know it's it's, uh, it's acrylic paint, so it dries very quickly. Um, Can even give it a little bit of extra extra love just to make sure you don't wipe all the paint out of the corners but you can try and get as much of it off as possible just to leave kind of that little little bit of residue in the uh, in the corners and creases and there you go you got that going on how do I get silver paint all over my hands? Is it from this? Oh yeah, it straight up is. Okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> so, I kind of destroyed the um, sticky paper stuff that's on here um, by trying to clean it. Um, so I just went ahead and I, I painted it and it looks like the paint does not stick to that material, which I was, uh, which I was unaware of until just now. You can see the paint is actually sticking to where I, uh, cleaned it, so, interesting. So we're just gonna clean that off real quick. <laughs> So that was a bit of a misstep on my behalf, obviously. Um, I didn't know how this stuff works. I'd never painted a Boomco blaster before. Uh, so this is kind of a learning experience for all of us. Well, for myself and presumably you guys, but could be wrong, you guys could have all this down already. You could know all this stuff. And yet it's not coming off of this side, which is weird. All right, so I, I, I just straight up don't know. Um, oh, actually, I think I do, because I, I did this entire side with Goo Gone, and this I just used a tiny little bit because there wasn't as much uh, paper residue. So looks like that was uh, 
silly. But, you know, whatever. It was, it was a misstep, I should say. So, we've got our two uh, red panels now done here. And those are pretty much ready for the next step, which is going to be the silver detailing. But we will put those off to the side for now so we can actually get our, our pump handle. And we're going to go ahead, actually we'll, we'll clean off our smaller brush in place of a larger brush. I found that large. Yeah, this guy. This guy right here. And this is going to be our new black wash brush. Let's get some paint in there. And again, we're just going to like follow basically the edges of this. Decent amount of coverage there. Looks good, right? <laughs> it's ready to go on. All right, so now just like everything else, you want to take your uh, little rag or paper towel or whatever you've got going there. Just want to get the excess off here. Okay, and then you should be left with something that looks kind of like that. A little bit, uh, little bit dirty, but not crazy. Uh, like it's, you know, just seen some battle, seen some action. So that's pretty much what we're going for there. And now we can put this off to the side, let that dry. Actually, I'll stick it right back on the alligator clip here. And let's go ahead and do this guy here. Um, it's going to remain pretty basic looking, I guess. But we will uh, give it the old once over here. Get in all the, all the nooks and crannies, as it were. Just make sure it's going into all the molded detail. And then on top of the uh, top of the button, around the button, around the sides. You don't have to do the underside because presumably this will be staying on the blaster, so you don't want it to be too crazy. But I will do the fronts of these. And your hands are going to get dirty doing this, guys. So uh, you know. Just just be okay with that. <laughs> that's all I can say. Alright, so that's done. You can take as much or as little off as you want. Basically for the big flat areas you kind of want to get as much off as possible, but for those those detailed areas you want to leave some in. Not too bad, it's around the little button thing. Looks pretty decent. So we will put this aside to dry. Cool. 
All right, so what I'm going to do right now is take a very short break uh, just to kind of wash my hands a little bit and, uh, you know, get some more, some more paint, probably, you know, refresh the paint a little bit. And uh, then we will be back to put the black wash on the main gun itself. Then we'll be back to do the silver uh, detailing, and then we will be done. Oh my goodness, so excited. I am so excited. All right, so I will see you guys. Well, for you guys, it'll be like a second. So I'll see you then. All right, guys, here we go. It's time to do this. Now, normally I would do this one half at a time, but, you know, since this is glued together, uh, it's going to be a little more tricky than that, but um, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. So, uh, it may be a little hard to see everything because it is a large piece, and I'm just trying to just trying to keep it all sort of contained here. So, we've gone over the, the wash process, you know, very recently, as recently as like a couple of seconds ago, so hopefully you guys have the uh, the idea down. So I'm going to try and do like one one side at a time here. Uh, and basically we just want our large wash brush, and then we're going to go uh, just kind of follow the lines of... Uh, all the stuff. We're going to do like a chunk at a time. So we're going to start over here with this area. Make sure you just get in all the little cracks and little areas like that. Maybe I should move my water over a little closer. Hopefully I won't knock it over. And yeah, we're just basically we're going to cover everything we just did. Uh, and now, we're going to come through with our paper towel. And we're going to wipe as much of it as we can. And now you can kind of see where, you know, where we just did a tiny little bit of, of coloring on these areas where it's really starting to shell through uh, because of the wash that's around it. Uh, and that's, that's kind of the look I was trying to go for there. So it really takes on a lot of life, you know, once it's got that you know, that bit of dark around it to kind of pull all those, uh, all those details out. I like it. I like it very much. Gotta clean that off too. So that's basically what we're, what we're going for. And we're going to do this over the entire, like the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing. Um, I don't know how I feel about it on this blue. Um, I kind of wish the blue was a little more resistant to the wash um, so I don't know I may I'll probably leave it as is um, but I may just lightly dry brush some more of the blue over top of it just to kind of give get a little more of the blue color in there um, so that's something I may may end up doing but uh, for now let's just go ahead and keep keep getting all this stuff done I 
I don't want too, too much of this dark on the red. Uh, just because I don't want it to completely spoil that really nice red color we've got. But I will go, like, in to all the, like, interior details and stuff. And I'll just kind of mark it up around there. Just to kind of get, get a little bit of color going. All right. So now we got that. Let's get our paper towel. Let's get as much off of the red as we can. Just like that. Down in the center there. And then let's get the rest of it here. And if you still feel there's too much on the red, you can of course uh, just get a little get a little liquid, although it's you know dirty liquid, but <laughs> get a little bit of your water onto your paper towel or onto a separate paper towel and use that to kind of clean that up just a little bit more. Just keep that keep that red looking kind of vibrant as well. But you guys kind of see what's going on here. It's starting to really uh, take shape. Although I will say a little bit of the paint did did come off right there. Uh, that's the acrylic on top of the red spray paint. So I'll just have to touch that up later. Shouldn't be too much of a problem though. Let's go ahead and get our wash on the back here as well. That's basically what it is. We're just painting over everything with dirt and then, you know, wiping away the surface. So once it's sufficiently covered, you gotta uncover it, right? And unfortunately, again, the uh, the paint is coming off of the spray paint, which is a bummer and a half. But we'll have to do some touch-ups later, obviously. That's why you got to be really careful with like gloss and semi-gloss spray paints um, with this because it'll, you know, it's, it won't hold the acrylic very well. But um, it's coming out pretty well, I think. So we just have to touch up that, this little area up here and also get a little bit in there because it's not so I just want to actually get a little bit more in there just to try and get a little bit more of that red covered up um, but it's all right Get our wet paper towel here. There we go. All right, so we're moving on to the front of the weapon here. And it's going to be the same deal here. Let's just go ahead and get the whole thing covered up. the barrel as well. Just 
just around all these uh, all these vents. And up around the uh, top here, the front. And then, of course, once again, just wipe it all down. All right, so there you go, and uh, you know, I think what I'm going to do now is actually pause the video. I'm going to do the other side off camera because I think you guys got got the gist of it pretty well. And um, when we come back, we'll be ready to do the silver paint, uh, the just the you know the final over top of everything, kind of just uh, stressing. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. And when we come back, we'll be ready to finish this guy up. So I'll see you in just a moment.